Point 1. Know the top 3 reasons why you should get the job. When I ask my client, do you know what will make the employer choose one candidate over the others? They often tell me good skills, relevant experience, good qualifications. So I ask, what if, say, if it's a project management job, it's pretty easy to find people who have done project management, who say they have good skills, who have some sort of degree or PMP certificate related to that. And if there are three or five of such candidates, how would then that employer choose? Hiring is to find someone unique for a unique role in a unique company. So it's all about people. Even though it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. You are not equivalent to just your skills plus experience plus qualification. You have to bring that unique ingredient of who you are onto the table and into the resume. And I find that is often what's usually missing. So the top three reasons to why you should get a job should include the hardware, which is the technical skills, experience, qualification, software, communication, leadership, people skills, plus uniquely who you are. And this is the hardest part because everyone is different and every job is different. So you need to tailor these jobs, you know, tailor your resume for these jobs. So for this hardest part, I'm going to have separate videos to expand on that topic. Now let's come to point two. Point two, write it for your readers, not for yourself. What your readers see in your resume is much more important than what you want to tell. I repeat, what your readers see in your resume is much more important than what you want to tell. For a lot of people, their resume is what they want to tell. It's literally a laundry list of facts. If they have 10 skills, they will pile it up. If they have 10 good things, they will list it all there. These are what they want to tell. But if you ask them, is this what you want your readers to see? They go into silence. The answer is obvious and they know it. Nobody reads a laundry list. Actually, to form an impression, it usually takes me about two seconds. This is an old habit from my headhunting days. And there are so many re resumes to see for re recruiters and naturally recruiters will save their time and resource only for the most interesting resumes. So we have to make it very time efficient for them. And the reasons why you should get a job should immediately pop into their eyes in the first two seconds. No delay, no analysis needed. This should appeal to their intuition first, not yet the logical brain or emotion, nothing, just intuition. Point three, anything does not serve your purpose hurts it. Is it easier to deliver a core message in three lines or 10 lines? In a resume, it's best if you can deliver in one line. Any more information overwhelms the intuition of the recruiter and makes the, the real message harder to stand out. It's just like it's so hard to find the clothes you want in a very full and packed wardrobe. What I will suggest is to focus on the most important part of the resume when you deliver the message and cut down the rest. The most important part of a resume is work experiences section. Recruiters dive right into it. Keep the highlight of your career list of, list of skills and the other stuff as simple as you can. The most important part of the work experiences section are the first line, three lines in each job under the job title and company name. They should each tell a story. The formula to tell a good story is as follows. This describes our relationship with something bigger and that also reflects our position in that big picture. So it's very necessary context for the employer. 
Of course, the employer would also want to know a little bit about the project, which are factual. Is it, you know, at the AP level or is it in certain industry? And all these, again, think about the kind of keywords that employers would uh, would be looking for as well to, to reflect the right information. But otherwise, keep that as simple as possible because you, your focus is not about what exactly happened, but it's more about who you are, which comes in the later part of this formula. To overcome the challenge or to, to tweak a very difficult situation, and that explains who you are or that expresses the uniqueness of you being someone who is very persistent and who has great stamina in challenging situations, who had even could elaborate who had experience dealing with challenging situation in a unique way that this particular organization is looking for. Or also could be, say, it was just a very steep learning curve and you, it will show that you are being a great fast learner as well. So there are many other combinations that we could do and could go into uh, with your unique experience. And how to do that, you can follow these principles in this formula. And I wish you all the best.